Hey everybody, Anthony here from Crazy Tech Lab and a super exciting video for you today because we are covering the announcement of AMD's brand new 3D vCash models. That is right, it has announced three new X3D processors based on the Zen 4 architecture for Socket AM5 and they are the Ryzen 9 7950X3D, the Ryzen 9 7900X3D and the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. So incredibly, we've got three CPUs to look forward to that are going to make your frame rates sizzle, or that's what we hope. Anyway, our sponsor today is scdkey.com, where right now you can get some great deals on software such as Windows 10, Windows 11, and Microsoft Office. Even better news is that I have a discount code to share with you guys that will get you even more money off this software. So Microsoft Windows 10 Pro, for example, which is fully upgradable for free to Windows 11 if you want to do that. All you have to do is click buy now, enter the code CRT25 into the promotion code box, click apply and the UK price, for example, will drop from £17 all the way down to just £12.76 and you'll see similar discounts elsewhere in other currencies as well. Once purchased, you'll want to head to your order page and copy the Windows 10 Pro key shown at the bottom of the page. When you're in Windows, you want to move your mouse over to the start button, right click, go to settings, then update and security, and then move up to activation and Finally, click on change your product key, copy and paste your brand new product key into the box, click next, then click activate, and your Windows 10 installation is now activated. Finally, you can do exactly the same thing with Office 2021 Professional by clicking the buy button using code CR25 again, click apply, and you'll get a hefty discount on Office as well. Thanks again to SCD Key for sponsoring this video, and you can see a whole bunch more links and discounts in the description below. So what we've got is the 7950X3D, which has 16 cores, 32 threads. It's going to be a multi-threaded powerhouse. So if you're just as much into your content creation and multi-threaded performance as you are gaming, that could be an absolutely stonking CPU. Not least of all, because the 5.7 gigahertz peak boost frequency is exactly the same as that on the 7950X. So lightly threaded and single threaded performance, uh, applications there shouldn't be too much if any performance downgrade there like we saw with the 5800 x3d you might remember that that processor in many situations outside of games was actually slower than its non x3d counterpart the 5800x so the 5800 x3d being slower in lots of multi-threaded tasks because the extra cache meant that the cpu got pretty hot and that meant that they had to down clock it in order to make it viable that doesn't seem to be the case here, at least in peak boost frequency. What might be lower, though, looking at the TDP, is the fact that multi-threaded performance, the all-core boosting, might be lower than the 7950X because the TDP here is just 120 watts rather than 170 watts for the 7950X. And the same goes for the 7900X, too. You've got the same 12 cores, 24 threads as the 7900X. You have the same 5 0.6 gigahertz peak boost frequency but again you have 120 watt tdp now that almost certainly will mean a lower all core boost frequency so what we will probably not see from those two cpus at least is similar multi-threaded performance to their non 3d vcache counterparts is that much of an issue well no not really what we are going to see is a massive upshift in multi-threaded performance uh, compared to the previous x3d generation chip uh, but you're going to see potentially lower multi-threaded performance. Um, in fact, I'd say that's almost guaranteed at this point because the TDP is lower and we're dealing with 3D vCache and we've seen what 3D vCache does to temperatures and that kind of thing. So the cache here, though, absolutely off the charts. You're looking at double what um, all three of these processors had with the uh, the non 3D vCache versions, um, 144 megabytes for uh, that's total L2 and L3 cache. For the 7950X 3D, um, 140 megabyte combined for the 7900X 3D and 104 megabytes for the 7800X 3D. Now, looking at the clock speeds of the 7800X 3D, you are having a down clock here. Um, I believe the peak boost frequency was about 5.3 gigahertz for the 7700X 3D. So that's kind of the equivalent processor that we've got to compare it against at the moment. There isn't obviously a 7800X uh, at the moment. 
Um, so there is a 300 megahertz down clock for the um, the peak boost frequency there. So there might be a slight downshift outside of games for that processor. So as far as pricing and everything else goes, there have been no mentions about that at the moment. I'm just scrolling through the press release and there is, uh, there's nothing mentioned about pricing. Availability though, we have a uh, February 2020, uh, 2023 timeline. So within the next eight weeks or so, uh, so that's going to be super exciting and I will be hopefully reviewing these processes when they land in uh, eight weeks or so time and that's going to be very, very interesting uh, to see how they perform in games and they could well be the big thing that everybody has been waiting for before they jump to Socket AM5 and thankfully we do have some cheaper motherboards around on Socket AM5 now as well. Um, DDR5 prices, obviously you're going to have to um, buy into DDR5 to upgrade to these processors as well but if they do perform as AMD is saying they will then that could be it could be very very interesting. So when I say how they perform AMD has released some benchmark numbers or at least benchmark percentages with the Ryzen 7 7800X3D versus the 5800X3D. So the 5800X3D based on the Zen 3 architecture, 7800X3D based on the Zen 4 architecture. So this is what we have here and games Rainbow Six Siege, we have a plus 21% performance improvement. I'm assuming this is with the same graphics card, same system, just different processor um, and different motherboard obviously as well. Warhammer, Dawn of War 3, a plus 22%. Um, Counter-Strike Go, plus 23%. And Dota 2, right up there with a plus 30% improvement thanks to the new CPU. Now, some of that could obviously be down to memory speed as well. You've obviously got a different platform, but most of this is going to be down to the processor. So this is really, really exciting uh, to see. It's a shame they haven't released more benchmark results. It would be useful to see what the uh, what the system is here that they've used um, and to just see uh, some more game benchmark results rather than just these four here. Um, obviously, FPS and that kind of stuff, I'd like to see more there rather than just CSGO, but these are the numbers we've got to go with for now. So super, super interesting from AMD here. It's been a long time coming. I know that a lot of you uh, we're a bit disappointed with the review that with the interview that I had with Robert um, uh, Halleck uh, a while ago, back in a summer of 2023, when he said that uh, the well, he basically didn't commit to the uh, the new the next generation of X3D processors being launched at the same time as Zen 4. And sure enough, that came to pass. I know I got a lot of stick in the comments about that, saying, you know, you can't say that. There's no evidence. There's no evidence that that was going to happen when actually Robert was fairly. Uh, fairly suggestive that that wouldn't be the case um, and that there was no evidence what to what to suggest that you know AMD was going to uh, launch the X3D processors with the 7000 series uh, standard processors and this is the reason why it was planning a CES launch for the X3D processors and that is what we have got uh, to look forward to or at least a, an X, uh, CES 2023 announcement with availability in February so Super, super exciting. We will look at these uh, processors very, very soon, hopefully, and compare them to everything else that has come before them. And I'm very much looking forward to that as well uh, for perhaps my future system or something like that, and an awesome gaming system. So that's what we got, got to look forward to. I'll be covering all the latest details here in my YouTube channel, and you can see a written review over on Forbes as well. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you soon.